You're listening to the Bomb Squad, the most explosive sports podcast in South Africa. I won't lie, I've just been watching highlights of Bruno Fernandes um, on repeat. <laughs> oh my word. Here we go. <laughs> oh, Off season, transfer rumors are abound. Adam Lalan has already gone to Brighton, your first move of, of the off season. I, I don't know how much of a rumor this is, but United had a, a bid for Jordan Sancho rejected. Jaden Sancho, he's going to be a big target, and I think they'll get that over the line. Um, I do think they'll look for Grealish. I was going to say, we need to bring Grealish yeah. into this conversation because he's an yeah. absolute waste where he is right now. I think what Man United do need, though, is probably a centre-back to, I don't know, to compliment Maguire or to compliment Lindelof because I'm trying to figure out who's the better out of the two. Here we go, guys. This is, this is a hell of a thing. We are underway the 8th of August with the Nedbank Cup semi-finals and then the next week. We're going to start with the P- restart of the PSL season. There are 57 games left, and they've got a month to finish them. I certainly think it's possible. Like if we if we take anything out of the way, the Premier League wrapped up in the last what it was like six weeks. So it was pretty quick. But I mean, it's going to be one hell of an effort. You know, it's going to take everything out of the squads. The the clubs that don't have the big bank balances and stuff are the ones that are going to suffer the most. And and if you don't have, you know heaps of good reserves to play with. You're going to see the, you know, the, the smaller clubs in South Africa, I think, struggling big time with some injuries. The, the, the big teams, Sundowns, no problem. Kaiser Chiefs, to a certain extent, no problem. A lot of Pirates and all those kind of teams. But like you said, the smaller teams, I think, will struggle. My biggest concern, though, is that the quality of the league will be very much affected because of the long break, A, and how quickly uh, teams have to finish the season. We'll put you guys in, on, on the spot here. Give us your give us your four for the rugby championship in order from one to four. New Zealand, Springboks, Australia, Argentina. I'm going to go Springboks at the top. Yo! Maybe second. Argentina. <laughs> Third place, the and then the Aussies, the Aussies back and forth there at the bottom. I'm with Sky there. I'll go All Blacks, Box, one of these, Argentina. Schoolboy sport has taken a huge hit over the mm. last couple of months. A whole schoolboy rugby season has been missed, and potentially the back end of a cricket season is going to be missed. All national weeks have been cancelled this year. What's more pertinent and what's more important to talk about is how the lack of cricket and the lack of sport has directly affected kids. For a lot of these kids who live in rural areas, this is all they have. Uh, mm. along with the hubs and along with these development programs are nutrition programs. So a lot of these kids have their only meal of the day because they play some sort of sport. And this pandemic has taken that away from them. Club rugby, soccer, hockey, whatever you do. I mean, the biggest loser yeah, is the community. But from a personal point of view, I'll tell you what, um, bigger picture, uh, arrest uh, for the body. Uh, yeah. a bit older, he's prolonged his career. Year, yeah, he's uh, prolonged his career. Yeah, I've prolonged <laughs> my career. You know, so. You're listening to the Bomb Squad, yeah. the most explosive sports podcast in South Africa.